Okay, we're looking at the second year stats and mechanics textbook, and we're on exercise um, 4D. So chapter four is on moments, and 4D is um, focusing on the center of maths. Okay, so we've got an exam question and a problem solving question, and it's worth eight marks only in one go, so it's going to be quite tricky. Um, so I've got a non-uniform rod. I'm given its weight, so if it's non-uniform, I don't know where its um, mass is working. Um, it's four meters long and it's hinged. So, so this is this is the rod here, so it's hinged at the wall there, and it's attached by a cable at thirty degrees. And I'm told the tension in the cable. Okay, so let's get that sketched out. Okay, right. So there's my rod. There's the cable, and there's tension in the cable. That's 30 degrees. Okay, right. Um, and I'll just put, so I don't, I don't know where the center of mass of the rod is, so it's 100 newtons there for now. I might tweak that um, shortly. So given that the tension is 80 newtons, um, find the distance of the center of mass of the rod from the wall. Okay, so, so this is the distance I'm after. So my diagram might not be particularly accurate um, the centre of mass might not be quite so close to the wall, but it's not going to affect the, the calculations I do. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of trick, but I don't think there's anything too bad here, actually. So I'm missing something. Um, so there's, um, I'm going to call that, did I call that anything? No, okay, so I'm going to call that A. And I am going to take moments about A because I've only got two forces to consider. I've got the mass of the rod. So the moment due to that is going to be 100 newtons times its distance from A. So that's going to be the only clockwise moment. Now, when doing the anti-clockwise moment, I've just got to um, find the perpendicular force. So that's absolutely fine. All that is going to involve is a bit of Sokotoa because I know that that is 80 and I just want to find the component of that that's working perpendicular to the rod, so straight up. So I want, let's just call that uh, F will do. Okay, so I want that. So I've got the hypotenuse and I want the opposite. So that's going to be sine. So sine 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be 80 sine 30. You will do a lot of sort of resolving with forces throughout mechanics. So you'll get very used to it. So I'm going to use, use truth to find um, perpendicular um, components. So, um, yep, yeah, so that, so that is that force there. So that's going to be a four, let's do that for the calculator. So 80 sine 30, I'm on the ratings mode, go with me. 30, so that's going to be 40, so a force of 40 Newtons um, times a distance of, well, the beam is four meters long. So times the distance of four, so 100 X, is 160, so x is 1.6 meters. Okay, just double check that. Yep, so actually, I mean, when you look at the amount of work you need for those, is it eight marks? That's, I mean, eight marks is actually seem very generous now we look at it like that, but it's, it's the thought process to get there. That's where you're earning your marks for applied maths. It's, it's not necessarily for the calculations, it's for sort of the structure and realizing what you have to do. Okay.